What's up family? Trail here and we have some very important news for our seniors and our social security recipients and you need to act fast on this information before it's too late. We just found out that our seniors may be able to receive up to $300 in direct payments. Yes, it appears that older adults and retirees may miss out on some stimulus checks because of how they file their taxes, but I have information on how you can claim these anyways. Also, we have the biggest day in history coming up next week, which means you need to clear your calendars today so that you can be available when you hear this particular news. And last but not least, hey, I do want to share with you an opportunity for you to receive some free money with the Moomoo app, but we'll discuss that later on in the video. But in the meantime, hey, you already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for us. Now let's jump into the video. Well, it's back in the news again, and it looks like COVID booster shots could save about 90,000 lives, and it will also cost about $56.5 billion. Yes, it says right here that about 90,000 lives would be saved and more than 936,000 hospitalizations could be prevented if 80% of Americans eligible for the latest COVID-19 booster shots, they actually get vaccinated by the end of this year, according to a new report from the Commonwealth Fund as well as the Yale School of Public Health. Now, it says that even matching the 2020 through 2021 vaccine levels or closer to 50 to 55 percent could save about 75,000 lives as well as prevent about 745,000 hospitalizations. And yes, right now it says that the U.S is on track for a far lower rate. Only 36% of adults older than 50 have gotten their second booster shots. And they are saying in a statement that if vaccinations continued as its current pace through the end of March 2023, a potential winter surge in COVID-19 infections could result in a peak of around 16,000 hospitalizations and around 1,200 deaths per day by March of 2023. Now, it does say that the lower booster rate could weigh heavily on the government health programs in which getting 80% of eligible Americans boosted could save around $56.3 billion in direct medical costs, including $13.5 billion in Medicare spending and around $4.5 billion in Medicaid spending. So anyways, guys, that is just the latest on COVID booster shots in which we all also heard from Dr. Anthony Fauci earlier this weekend where he said another COVID-19 variant could emerge this winter. Yes, guys, we are hearing from Dr. Fauci before he actually leaves office in which he said this past Tuesday that, look, we should not be surprised if a new COVID-19 variant emerges over the winter time frame. He said that we should anticipate that very well, may get another variant that would emerge, that would elude that the immune response that we've gotten from the infection and or vaccinations, according to Dr. Anthony Fauci, he said that, look, we're currently moving in the right direction right now. However, we could have another variant pop its head again sometime in the winter. But he said that, look, we are entering into the winter months where no matter what the respiratory disease is, there's always a risk of an uptick in COVID-19 infections. Now he went on to mention about the Omicron variant that actually had an uptick during the winter months in which uh, health officials urged people to get vaccinated as well as for them to get their booster shots. And here we are again, guys, almost to that winter time frame in which they are urging you to get your booster shots, get your vaccinations, as well as be alarmed and protect yourselves because we could be receiving another Omicron variant or a COVID-19 variant sometime in the near future. So anyways, guys, that is just a bit of warning message for those out there to make sure that you are continuing to protect yourselves, probably wear your mask, get vaccinated, as well as get your booster shots if you actually believe in those particular things working for the American people. But if you don't believe it, hey, I understand clearly. But anyways, guys, moving on to some stimulus update news, guys, because we do want to talk about our seniors, our social security recipients, 
our retirees, our adults, all of the above, guys. And yes, the biggest question that we have right here is, are our seniors getting shortchanged by the Social Security cost of living adjustment? Yes, guys, that is the huge question. That is what everyone wants to know right now, in which we know very soon, guys, next week, if you want to know the exact date, yes, we have the date of October the 13th. It is going to be the biggest day of probably the entire year, especially for our seniors, our retirees, uh, those individuals on Social Security, as well as SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, all of the above. October the 13th, guys, is a very, very important day. And in fact, it's probably going to be the most important day of the year. And that is because that is the official day in which we should find the exact numbers of what the cost of living adjustment, or better known as the COLA increase, is going to be that is going to affect around 69 million Americans in this country. Yes, it talks about it right here, guys. Here is why October the 13th is Social Security's most important day of the year. Yes, guys, we already know that Social Security COLA, or cost of living adjustment, is on track to be the highest it has ever been in the last 40 years. And yes, and with one month of consumer price data left to go before a final determination, it appears near certain that the Social Security cost of living adjustment for 2023 will be the highest in more than four decades. Yes, guys, this particular information is based on the new CPI-W data through the month of August, in which estimates by the Senior Citizens League show that the Social Security COLA increase for 2023 will be around 8.7%. However, this is even after the CPIW decreased the previous month. So guys, hey, we know that this information is going to be coming out next week. I believe that date is going to be on Thursday, but don't quote me to it, but it is October the 13th in which we are going to find out the exact numbers, the exact estimates of what the cost of living adjustment or COLA increase is going to be for 69 million Americans in this country. So again, guys, you definitely need to clear your calendars because you need to be watching out for this information to come out that day. And I will try to bring it to you guys. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. But anyways, guys, that information is going to come out. The COLA increase on October the 13th. And yes, guys, I believe that some estimates are saying that we could see this increase be anywhere between 9 and 10%. So I know the Senior Citizens League has estimated for it to be around 8.7%, guys, but things are continuing getting worse, guys. And well, as we just heard from the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell, in which he increased the interest rates once again. So yes, guys, inflation is still very high right now. We have prices going up as far as the grocery stores, gas prices, and everything else as well. So we can obviously expect for this cost of living adjustment to be at least 9 to 10%, guys. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. But again, guys, pay attention. October the 13th, guys, put it on your calendar, put it in your phone, and write it down. Clear your calendars and make sure that you follow Budget Bill for more information. I would like to interrupt this video to share with you my new preferred brokerage account that I use for buying and selling stocks. It is called Moomoo. I recently got them to offer my family and friends up to 15 free stocks. Now, in order to qualify, all you have to do is sign up using the link down below low and that will get you at least one free stock and then after that deposit $100 and that will give you an additional four free stocks and if you deposit $2,000 or more you can receive all 15 stocks for free and the beauty about this is they could be worth up to $2,000 now if you do sign up please remember to keep your money in your brokerage account at least 60 days guys in order to receive the stocks and again it's free money so don't sleep on this opportunity. But anyways, let's get back into the video. Now, in addition to that, guys, we do know that we have heard previously that lawmakers have introduced a plan to raise Social Security by $2,400 per year. This could equate to around $200 per month. So yes, guys, we are still in the works. We are still trying to wait for this particular legislation to see if it picks up more traction. We recently heard where President Biden actually spoke up about the Social Security reform that he 
he is trying to push as well, in which we have really been waiting on President Biden to get behind this push, as well as to coerce all of the lawmakers, all of those particular people on Capitol Hill to go ahead and support this bill because we definitely need to provide an increase for our Social Security recipients. Now, it does state that lawmakers have shared a plan that they say will boost Social Security payments while also strengthening the program because, as you know, guys, the program, the Social Security program is on track to go into solvency by the year of 2035, in which that is why lawmakers are pushing very hard right now to go ahead and perform this particular Social Security reform to actually redo the way the Social Security decides on how much to give the Social Security recipients. They're trying to revamp that particular methodology in which it could provide some additional income or increases for our Social Security recipients. So again, guys, we do know that this particular bill that was introduced by these lawmakers that also has a support by Representative Peter DeFazio as well as Senator Bernie Sanders, which is called the Social Security Expansion Act. We also know that we have that other bill that was introduced on Capitol Hill called the Social Security 2100 Act. And that bill is also calling for an increase for our Social Security recipients. So anyways, guys, hey, if you see this particular bill hit the stage, you do want to go ahead and call your congressman in your local state to be able to coerce them into supporting this bill because we definitely know that our seniors, our Social Security recipients, they definitely need more assistance right now, guys. They need the COLA increase as well as an increase for their Social Security benefits from the Social Security Administration. But anyways, guys, that is just the latest information on that. But last but not least, guys, we do have a bit of good information right here, and that is because our seniors as well as adults could be leaving around $300 on the table. And yes, guys, this article talks about it. It says that thousands of Americans may miss out on up to $300 in direct payments. And yes, guys, it says that older adults and retirees may miss out on this particular $300 due to tax returns. And yes, the Illinois Department of Aging is encouraging these particular individuals to complete the necessary forms to get their $300 rebates. And don't worry, guys, I will include a link to this particular article down below in the description so that you can check it out as well as find the exact link to claim these $300 rebate checks. Now, it does say that in order to be eligible for the Illinois Family Relief Plan, residents must have paid Illinois property taxes in 2021 on their primary residence. However, Illinois state law doesn't require older or retired residents to file a tax return. And luckily, people in these particular groups can still submit the form IL-1040-PTR to get the cash cash, which is up to $300. Now, this form can be completed online or by mail and must be submitted on or before October the 17th, guys. That is the deadline. Remember this, October the 17th. But guys, don't wait till that particular day. Go ahead and do it today. Go ahead and scroll down below this video and click on the link to get it exactly so that you can fill it out online, guys, if you fit and are eligible for this particular criteria for the Illinois Family Relief Plan. And again, these are direct payments of up to $300. But anyways, guys, hey, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But as a quick reminder, don't forget about the promotion with Moomoo where they are giving out those 15 free stocks. And if you are interested, hey, that link will be down below. But anyways, guys, hey, if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.